Okay, so welcome to our new character in single player edition. I'm going to solve a couple questions here. Um, one being how do I delete my character and start over? And the other one being how do I make money? How do I get started? What do I do when I'm a new character? It's going to spawn you somewhere here around uh, Sperm Lake. There's a small town with just the basics there. Um, how to delete character? Escape. Options. Gameplay. Right down here at the bottom. Delete character will start you all over. The buildings you built will still be there and you can't get in them. So you might as well uh, knock them down or delete the door and go in and delete the stuff and rebuild it. I think then you could use it. But you can just, if it's your building, uh, Well, if you're in single player, you are the admin. You can just activate admin and then look at the buildings and press delete and start over. You're wanting to start over with a new character. You probably want to start over completely, right? So here's your character. What you do with your houses is up to you, but they will remain. So it spawns you. See, I have nothing. Okay, I, I, I'm a level two. I could I got four points in energy big um, it's the same as starting fresh it spawned you somewhere around here in 1114 this is what we call sperm lake usually around here you can't see when you first start it's very you have to zoom in roll the mouse wheel to get a peek at a grid run around see if you can see this lake or something a lot of people will make uh, a weapon first thing. Uh, the weapon I choose, if anything, is uh, the spear. A lot of people like this. A lot of people like the slingshot. I usually just uh, get a lasso, get on a horse, sell horses, and uh, here's your thimbleberry bushes. This is a blackberry. It'll give you very little plant fiber. Plant fiber makes rope. Rope makes lasso. Lasso catches a horse. And then you're you're in business. Go catch more horses. That's what you do. And you can eat the thimbleberries. You don't need the seeds. That's a lot of plant fiber from that. All you got to do is find that. Go to crafting rope. Ten rope makes a lasso. Seven, eight, nine, ten rope. Back to crafting. Lasso. Right click. Thirteen seconds on that. Might as well make up that rope. You crafting points, and you need it for other stuff. Got plenty of thimble berries to eat. You got a whole lake there to drink. You don't have to boil it or anything, you know that. See how fast this thimbleberry grows back? They make it so easy. Okay, find a horse. Uh, most people have a small, t have a town somewhere around Sperm Lake in this 10, 11, dot 14 area. Somewhere around here where you spawn. If you're in single player, you're going to have to e either build a mailbox and earn money and buy the items from the mailbox, these prefab buildings, or you can cheat them. You are the admin. You don't need to do that uh, shift tilde activate admin here. And it's activate admin, not admin activate. Activate admin. All that does is give you these admin See, this wasn't here before. And that's fly mode. Um, it's single player. This is it's the same thing in uh, multiplayer if you're the admin, if it's your server. Uh, but you don't need to do that in single player to use the cheat box. See the cheat box at the bottom? Everything is going to be summon item, and then it's divided into categories. So get 
always recommend Merck's cheat list, admin codes list in uh, Steam guides. If you click on, if you're at the Outlaws game page in Steam, up at the top, across the top by discussions and stuff, there's guides, and I think his is the fourth one down last I looked. It's a very complete, uh, see the bandits over there? They're always hanging out over there. So I slapped down a basic town by cheating each of these buildings. So it'll be something like that, uh, objects, I, that's an I. You don't have to capitalize any of these cheats underscore or be stable and then the number of them you want stable did I get that right let's see yeah I got it right then you right click on it in your inventory and this is what I did over there you, you play when it's gold you can't put it around it yellow lines so you can put another one here and left click to place it and then you can sell horses to this guy Since I put it down, I can get rid of it. So you're going to need the st at least the stable. I believe there's 12 of these. I went quite in depth on one of the posts. Somebody is asking how to make money in single player. I went quite in depth on it, listing them all out and what you should do. Tailor to buy your clothes. Gold exchange to exchange your gold bars. A gun shop to buy and sell guns and ammo. And a stable to sell horses. He also buy. He also sells saddles and horseshoes but he won't buy them he only buys horses did the same thing for this it's gun shop you can copy and paste with control V into the code box uh, if you alt tab out copy highlight and copy the cheat and then you bring up this box you control V it in there hit enter whatever it is there's the cheat for the mine shaft. I added that to uh, Merck's list. Somebody had put in uh, the first one, the small mine, and I figured out the T2. But so I posted that at the bottom of his guide, the chat. Okay, so if you're in uh, multiplayer, you want to you want to sell horses is your best money first thing. So you go to World tab. It should default to World, but it doesn't. It defaults to Area. So if there's anybody in there, you can ask them where's the town, and that works. That comes up with the Enter key, the chat, and it also disappears with a right click or the Enter key. Okay, but if you're in single player. Uh, the first thing I usually do, and you can fly around and find a nice spot. And uh, so I slap these down. Now I can buy clothes, exchange gold. Alternatively, you can, oh, if you want to play it like you worked for it, you can go to a mail, build a mailbox, and then buy them. You have to earn the money. This is the building with the vendor in it. These guys are $10 less. This is just the character. So if you were to buy him, it's not, you don't get the forge that you can use or anything. You just get the blacksmith. And there he is. And you place him, he starts by, and he acts, he does just what he does in the building. If you place them, why is it doing this? Get off me. This is something they need to work on buildings and building in general. Is you can't. It, the, Jesus. Is it because I have the lasso? Yeah, it's because I had the last suit in my hand. Now he's working fine. If you want to build your own buildings, you can do that and just buy the merchant and click place him. And he'll do the same thing he does as if he had the building, which is buy and sell iron bars, which is all he does. It's not worth making iron bars, collecting the resources, and forging them to sell to him for 50 cents each. Everybody buys iron bars from him because it's easier than making them too for building and crafting. 
And he goes back to pounding wherever you put him. And since I'm admin and single player, I can destroy him. But if you want the blacksmith building uh, in your town to buy iron bars, you would simply s cheat it or buy it from the mailbox and place it like I showed you. Left, right click on it in your inventory. It will appear in front of you. Move around. Rotate it with the mouse wheel and place it with a left click. Uh, something has to come first. There's no pre-established built towns in single player or multiplayer. That's up to you. First thing I'll do is in single player or when I'm running my server is I'll build a town around here by sperm leg for everybody who plays and in single player for me to cash in my gold buy guns and sell horses and buy clothes horses is your best money the guns you get from bandits people okay I'm just started a time to go get bandits with a bow and arrow no you get horses and that'll buy you a nice gun mustangs are what 150 and quarter horses anyways you can capture once you capture one horse get on your horse and go get more this uh, right click aim and swirl it over your head on foot doesn't work on horseback you only have the left click you only have this in the on the horseback so you don't have this approach slowly aim and uh, spin it option which is okay you can just left click it throw it if this doesn't work on horseback um, you see him throwing it and coiling it back up if that doesn't work uh, de-equip it and re-equip it and it fixes it that happens sometimes yeah, so it's thimble berries to eat and make rope and make a lasso and then your first thing you want to do is you may want to have a spear or something you can outrun most stuff at this point if you haven't run everywhere and you have your full energy you can outrun stuff um, there's horses supposed to spawn around here I want to give you a quick uh, catch horses from horseback okay so finally the game decides to spawn me a horse where it has always and forever always spawned a horse but didn't want to when I'm trying to make a video how to catch a horse okay there it is finally thank you I don't even use this this aim sh crap because my arm gets in the way I'll lead him a little bit and I'll aim for the his shoulders at the bottom of his mane the top of his back this is about how close you can get here since he's moving you have to aim ahead I usually do better than this of course it's not gonna work come on you're right on him how can you miss okay what's it want me to do you can throw it quite far. There you go. You gotta let that go by a couple times. That's a left click. Only the last one is a little difficult. Okay, you can put the lasso away, arm a weapon. This is your horse. I like to have this there. I'm used to that. Put it in the way. Hot menu. He's automatically on follow, so. And the horses you catch are. So this is a quarter horse, obviously you can tell from the the size and the belly and the musculature. You want a Mustang for 150 bucks. You can catch two or three horses and they'll all follow you, but they have difficulty going through 
around bushes and rocks and trees. Um, they're going to go in a straight line behind you. So if you go around a tree or a rock like that, and they're going to try and, you know, cut the corner and go straight towards you. See, this is why you need a horse. So you ha it's just starting. You have no weapon. You can just out, stay out, get out of their territory, and they'll stop and go back. And just let you know to stay out of their turf. But there's normally a horse up here. Okay, the, finally it has given me another horse in this game. Wow. That is really st stringent uh, amount of horses from what it used to be. Okay, so they nerf everything down after a game. That's early access after a game comes out. Okay, so from horseback, all you have is the left click throw. You don't have the, see the stable over there? I'm just riding around this area where I know there's horses, except it's not giving me any now. Uh, so they've changed that, much less horses. I expect them to totally nerf that price of horses. They haven't. Everybody talks about it. You know, when you talk about something on the, on the boards, they read everything. They even tell you they read everything, and, they're gonna, and they nerf it. That's what they. That's why they read the boards. Your your feed. The rest of your feedback about what you want or what's bugged. They don't care. They're merely scanning for stuff to make your game harder and nerf to find stuff that needs to be nerfed. So it's harder. So you have more gameplay. They've even come right out and told us that. Harder makes for longer gameplay. In their uh in their minds that makes it uh, a better okay all you got is the left click this is the horses have gone freaking wacky too uh, for a while there they won't follow this is this is too he should be moving by now right there the top of his neck see that stupid evil. that was just one throw with the left click now, you can put the lasso away. He's going to follow regardless of what you do. Show you how far they follow. Learn to push down on S and spin the mouse around and look back. And then when you look forward, you're going to need W to go forward. But this is S looking back and going forward. You can trot all day. He'll follow you at a distance. You can even gallop a little. What I was saying about putting the lasso away, and if you wait, he'll catch up. You got to watch out for rocks and trees. What I was saying about putting the lasso away is to get out a weapon, because now that you have horses and stuff in your your gallop, you know they're going to throw wolves and bears and everything at you. And you can speed up and run away, or you can fight him. He will still follow. Look back. They even go into rocks that are poorly textured. And yes, you can catch two, three, four, five horses and they will all follow you. I don't know anybody that's done it above five. But I've done two and three and even four quite often. Because this is money, man. This is too easy now. They can get too close. No, see, he's moving, so i got to go ahead of him. Oops, now he ran. He knew I was there. Oh, you little sucker. I'll just go straight behind him and hit it. Watch this. Let that go by at least twice. It won't work anyways if you try it right away. Two. One more. Ah, he can't get me. And now he's glitching and doing this side saddle merged into the horse with his butt and legs. Yes, good job. You screwed that up somehow along the way. So the only way to fix that is to get off and get back on. For a while we were shoot if you had a gun in your hand and you held looked at your horse and held down E, we were killing our favorite horses, level 10, 12, 15. Yep, they uh, they went through that and like, oh really? Well we'll look into it. I'll add it to the list. So I forever and for always after killing two good leveled horses. Have never have a gun in my hand of any type. 
course a shotgun is one shot when I'm looking at my horse and opening their inventory or whatever. Okay, so both these guys are following me. Why wouldn't I stop and get another one when he's between me and the stable? Three, they, they bump into each other and they get jacked up. This is your best money, man. I mean, you can battle bandits, but you, don't only, you only have 100 health now. And they made the bandits a lot tougher health and a lot more damaging and a lot more crack shot. Uh, it's much harder to kill bandits than it was. This is a pretty open area. There's usually a town around uh, Sperm Lake here and, uh, in 1114. And uh, it's a nice big flat area as far as you can see all the way around here. I mean, you don't have to build right by the lake. But slap you down a town with the codes, uh, at least the stable and a gun shop and the tailor for clothes, and then whatever else you want. The general store sells seeds and ice. There's 12 of them. Look at my uh, thread. And they all do something, but the only ones that buy things are is the stable, the tailor, and the gun shop. Okay, the blacksmith will buy your iron bars for 50 cents. And you have to have a forge, and you have to mine iron ore, and yeah, it's not worth it. Horses is where the money's at. Everybody asks, well, how do I make money in single Horses. And I'm showing you that right now. Now they're giving me a million horses. Look at that shot. This is a lot of money. I'm going to go buy all my clothes and all my guns. Well, I'm going to buy the bootleg shotgun. And he's doing that side saddle crap again. Okay, now take, if you have a plenty of them and you want to, because you want a Mustang. These are all quarter horses, you can tell from the big belly. So we'll just, this is 75 times 3. Don't sell the horse you're riding, then you're walking again. Well, you could around here, I could, I can go back and get, a, there's always a horse there. See, they're following, no problemo. I can even gallop here. It's open. They'll catch up. They go quite far back. But if you're in the desert or the mountains, it can be very, very difficult with even one horse. Or they'll find their way around. They'll either come through. Now, you can, people have the stable guy standing out front of their house. You can use anybody's stable guy, anybody's gun shop guy, any. Any AI merchant that's standing around outside anybody's house, you can use that. There's no sense in having all these uh, guys at your house. That, For me, anyways, I like to role play and ride into town for my stuff. And I don't want a bunch of stupids standing around my yard or outside my house not moving. Okay, so the first, look at the horse. First one on the left is change owner. If you want to give your friend a horse, this is how you do it. This is also how you sell them. Look at the horse. Hold down E. First one on the left is change owner. Just left click it. Now, it, whoever you point at will own that horse, and it'll go to them. But to sell it, you go. You just point. You just tap E at the stable guy. Watch. See, he pointed at him briefly, and it says. You know that's a quarter horse because it's $75. Confirm. That menu pops up. That horse is gone. Go to the next horse. Look at it. Hold down E. Change owner. Now whoever you look at. Oh, it's 100. That was a Mustang. I was wrong. Is that a Mustang? Quarter horse. Yeah. Change owner. Look at the stable guy, 75 bucks. I already had money, I forgot to clear all my money and start over. Whatever. You saw how to do it, right? Now, I put my horse on stay because when I'm mining, you might hit him and they'll try and follow you in stores and stuff. So go down here to. That's just me. You can summon your horse with this. If he's close, he'll walk over. 
if you go if you get stuck on your horse this is good to use because he will tell if you go far enough away but not too far he will teleport to you he'll just bloop appear see I still have summon horse and it drops him right in front of me if you're closer than that he'll just trot over to you it doesn't do you any good if he's stuck in a rock or something and yes I have been stuck so he's on stay so you want the stable, you want at least the gun shop, right? Now you're all set. He sold a couple horses. You go right down here and it, if, if you're like me and most people, you're looking for a bootleg. Bootleg gold, that's the most damage and durability. And uh, that's a left click. We'll send it into your inventory. Now it's yours. Uh, I have that mapped to my side mouse button, so I put it in seven to draw it out quickly because you get jumped okay back up to the top get you some ammo it's cheap as dirt 12 cents and say you need at least 50 now I have a lot of money I could buy something else but you had what what did we get from the horses 150, 225, 300 or so, 325. So that's that's plenty. You're set. Uh, so get a pistol. I feel like I'd see. I recommend the uh, the bunt line, gold of course. That's as expensive as a sharps rifle. Everybody wants a sharps rifle, right? Or a sniper. Yeah. You got a long reload, one shot at a time. This is your best friend in the game. If you're gonna get anything. You could even get the regular bootleg if you don't have enough money, but get a shot. Then go get out of your underwear. That's why you need a tailor. If you've killed any bandits and you have their guns uh, and gold, um, just drag their guns into uh, his menu here. So you click on their gun and release it over their menu. Or left click on their right click on their gun in the inventory and that sells it to them it will disappear and you'll see the money go here their guns are like worth six or twelve dollars uh, cash their gold in here if they it's the skull gang and you got gold bars and I'm going right over here I'm gonna get me some clothes be careful here let's say and that's that's a right click and it will appear here and you can look at it whatever it is then you pick your fabric that's the buttons and pants and then that's color okay now you can left click on this or you can right click on the item e both things buy it right click on it or left click on buy goes in don't go over to your inventory and left click on this with this menu open or you will sell it back to him for two dollars that you paid see that two dollars for what you paid eighteen dollars for pants okay if you want to now try these on tab out clear this menu to, le to right click and try your pants on if you do that with this menu on, his menu open, click on your pants, you're going to sell them to him. Okay? Be very careful. A lot of people have been very upset and disappointed by selling the pants, their jacket, custom stuff, right back to the dude. Okay? Do all your buying and then clear the menu, step back or go outside and then try on your clothes. See, that just took them off. It stay in my inventory. But if I right clicked on it with his inventory open, interacting with him, it would sell it right back to him for two dollars. You'd be mad. See, don't do it. Okay. He has vests, hats, boots. Um, you want to right click on these first and then color it, and you can look at it. Now it's viewing that this color one doesn't do anything on a hat. See, 
it's just black so you would want to change your materials for a hat to pants right to a jacket so whatever I pick on is going to maintain these settings and that's a left click to look at it over here so you want that out of leather it looks a lot different uh, what color buttons do you want gold buttons brown jacket which jacket do you want it's going to maintain those colors left click on buy or right click on the item in the purchase menu I just bought it don't try it on you got this menu open you'll sell it back to him you need a shirt There's the Eastwood shirt. Different collars, different button ups. There's a Civil War flap over one. Where is it? So pick one, pick your colors. And what do you want it made out of? You can even have a silk shirt. Again, this color one is the buttons buy a shirt, buy a jacket, don't try them on yet, don't try them, you can step back and try them on, but don't do it with this menu open, I think I've said that enough, you can make a better pair of boots than these, uh, but that's going to be a while before you have this uh, shoe and hat bench, uh, so you can color these, red, black, Color one doesn't do anything on boots. Color two doesn't do anything either when it comes to boots. So it's either default, all black, red and black. Buy those. Boots, shirt, hat. We don't have a hat. Um, association in purple. Yeah, isn't that nice? I like a nice suede hat. They should have beaver hat. That's what you make a nice cowboy hat out of. There's leather. It's a little rougher finish. I like suede. Um, they're just get this done. Okay. Buy everything. Step back. Clear that purchase menu. Then left click on your stuff. Put your hat on. Put your boot on. Put your shirt on. Put your jacket on. Um, that should do you. P is orbit mode. If you want to look at yourself, you can scroll out and in with the mouse wheel. Roll out and in. If you're running around crazy and your controls aren't working right, <laughs> you can't go like you're drunk. You see orbit mode down in the bottom right? Hit P again. Turn off orbit mode to move around. The other thing people do is they clear all their menus. You can't see any of the menus. There they are. Can't see any of them now. Why do I have a cheat up in the box? Anyways, you can't see any of the menus. That's H. H. Got it? I see all your stuff has disappeared. You're like, what the heck? There. Did shift tilde again and got rid of it. They're like, oh, it's, oh, I can't see any of my. I can hear them, but I can't see it. H, H. This is for screenshots. Okay. I have that on my side mouse button. P is orbit mode. Look around and make a pretty screenshot too. Then you clear all the menus, and you roll the mouse wheel until you and look around until you have a pretty or whatever you just want to look at yourself he looks cross-eyed okay H is all your HUD menus and P undo that to move around that's orbit mode okay so how could we sold what three horses plus we got one and we have the four basics in town I would say uh, which I cheated and slapped down really quick because I'm in single player. 
Alternatively, you can uh, play it legit, build a mailbox, and earn the money for each one. This is just the character without their building. It still functions the same. The gold vendor will still function the same without uh, being in his little building. Same for the sheriff, Taylor. The blacksmith won't have his forge. Uh, the gun shop won't have his his surroundings, but uh, a lot of people don't care. And it, for convenience, as they say, uh, they'll have all these characters standing in their house or out front or something. I don't I don't. These with the the piece of paper with what it is on it. These is this is the building. This will be the building with the vendor in it. So you want a gun shop? Send the message. Drag that into your inventory. Then close this. Okay. Now the gun shop is in your inventory. That's what I did with this. I placed it right there. I could place another one right here. Nope, that went yellow. It won't go, so I don't need that. Okay, buy it or put in the shift tilde. Brings up your code box at the bottom. It'll be summon item oi gun sh underscore gun shop. But there's no pre-made towns in single player or multiplayer on the map. So alternatively, you can make your mallet or your hammers and build these buildings. And then when you make the blueprints and you hold those in your hand, like any tool, you'll see the choices. And it has uh, this guns and ammo roof and sign. And you can put these cabinets will appear uh, for you to place into your self-built building. And then you just buy or sp you have to buy this. You can't spawn. There's no cheat for just the vendors. It's their only. Uh, nobody's figured that out yet. Um, so you, then you buy just the vendor from the mailbox. And you put them in uh, behind the counter wherever you want. So most of these items are available. The cabinets at least are available to put inside your old building and in the case of the gun shop this sign no the cannon isn't available exchange gold buy your clothes sell clothes uh, you could also have the taxidermist uh, blacksmith sheriff saloon barber shop and one of two hotels which you can just buy a bed from but single player how do I make money there's your answer that I showed you you're looking right at it horses see I want to look in his inventory just to be safe unequip a weapon he might take a pistol shot might if it's not in the head but you don't want to do that to your horse by accident. And the shotgun will kill him. One shot. So open his inventory. Go buy him a saddle and some horseshoes. And uh, you be sure to put this. I'll show you something real quick. On buying and placing horseshoes and saddles. Now you can make a saddle bench and get the resources and make your own saddle. But everything's so cheap now. Um, buy that. They say you only need one. Whoops. He won't buy, he will only buy horses. He will not buy horseshoes. See that? Will not buy items. He will not buy saddles. All the stable guy is going to do is sell you, <coughs> he'll sell you a horse. He'll buy and sell horses. He will buy and sell horses. He will not buy saddles or horseshoes. He will sell them to you, however. If you want a horse, it's pick the one you want. Sliders to choose your body and mane. And then buy. Okay, Mustang has 250 health. And he can argue with other people all day now what the difference is. But the Mustang has more health. A lot more.
and you click buy it'll uh, appear out here so so we cleared that so you want to put oops you want to put your horseshoes and saddle on you have to be careful not to lose them you'll buy them again it does not go down here in that slot until you have put it in his inventory and I'll show you why first put your things over here then put it on him see that now if you right click on it is going to take it off see that's why if you try and drag this saddle from your inventory right to here you'll probably lose it as I have if you're lucky it'll go back in and then you'll release it and go back in your inventory if not it'll disappear like you drag something out of your inventory to get rid of it and you have to go buy or make another one horseshoe same thing put it in his inventory and then put it down here now it's on the horse now the saddles on the horse now if you want to take your saddle off your horse every time it'll store it nicely in his inventory I don't see why you'd want to take horseshoes off. Uh, right click. Goes back in the inventory. Right click. Goes back in the inventory. I don't know if you can see through the uh, the gray here. There's saddles back on. Horseshoes back on. But first thing you do, do when you buy them, they go in your inventory. Drag it over to their inventory. The mounts inventory. Then into the spot down here, okay? important and all that was cheap I sold a few horses I'm all dressed I don't need the jacket on right now uh, temperature doesn't do anything right now and it's the same thing as a horse and saddle you take it off and on with by right clicking on it See my temperature goes down uh, because it's hot here. Now go get your bandits. Now you got a gun and a horse. They still get off shots even when they're dead. They're amazing. I'm surprised they missed me. Tells you what you get little money, little ammo, a pistol, it's worth four dollars and twenty-five cents. You can sell these eye patches at the tailor where you sell clothing. The pistol ammo, ammo you might as well keep. Sell the gun at the gun shop. That was not the Skull Gang, therefore there is no gold bars. Why you need a town. You can sell ammo to the gun shop too. You're gonna want all the weapons eventually. Go make your money. See, I can drag his gu gun over here to sell it, or I can right click on it in my inventory. Boom, it's gone. I got four dollars for it. I patch, you can sell the tail. This is funny. I'll give him all 13 rounds. Watch what I get for him a few cents from 17 to 56 cents because I don't have a pistol pick a pistol pick a pistol any pistol Remington 1865 gold now I get some ammo pistol ammo cheap as dirt I think the SAA has the most uh, damage, but your gold pistol and gold weapon will always be the most damaging one you want to get. You get the double barrel in gold, you get the sharps in gold. Watch this. See how much money I have? 1037. Watch this. 1039. I got two dollars for it. If you ho mouse hover over it, it'll tell you what it sells for, and it's usually, I think always, half of what you pay for it, you can sell it for. 
Oh, look at that fast. <laughs> okay, clear out of this before you try it on. Look at that white with the gold cup. <laughs> okay, that's cool. We're having fun. Yeah, two dollars for the iPad. Same thing for the face bandana. I didn't get one. Now we're all set. Uh, go catch more horses. Go chop wood and find a place you want to build. Don't forget to drink. To make your horse drink, you gotta make it swim. There's your thirst for you. One tap of E. Uh, make a wooden canteen. Carry water with you. And all we have to eat right now is thimbleberries. So, but they do a good job. Look at that. And they're plentiful and everywhere. So it's easy to survive. It's easy to make money. There should be another horse over here. Yep. If that's a Mustang, I'll take that and then switch my saddle over. Because I don't want a Mustang. But at first, I don't care what it is. I'm going to catch it and sell it. Uh, the buffalo was going to attack you when you get this close. No, you can't lasso a buffalo. Usually they just grumble at you. They're, it's, it's iffy what they're going to do. <laughs> Missed him by a mile. Okay, just making myself look bad here. Pro cowboy. There you go. Hit, hit, hit. Got yourself a horse. See, you can equip a weapon. He's still going to follow you. In that case, you can do this. See? See why you want a shotgun? Okay, 12 rawhide, 13 bison meat. That's good. Rawhide makes leather. Rawhide will even make the basic clothing on the tannery from Daniel Boone looking rough stuff. But you got money. Buy it. That's a quarter horse. I'm going to guess that's a quarter horse. Yep. From the looks of it. Come on, horsey. Let's see if he'll follow when I run. He'll come. So you have to steer them wide like a truck driver because they're going straight for you. If there's a building or a rock or something there, they'll bump into it and they can't figure it out. So you take wide turns like a truck driver. See, he's trying to go around the outside of the building. Come here. Come on. Come over here. <laughs> can't make the corner. Okay. Change owner. Hold E. Change owner. 75. Confirm. He's gone. I got money. Let's go get more. Okay, so you got the basics of a town here. And add more to later date. Or you can build your own if you feel like it. Let's ride off into the sunset and find somewhere to build us a little homestead. Most servers for lag don't want you to build a big prefab town and they don't want you to build near a town or other players um, as you build more buildings uh, you will take a frame rate hit when you approach see how far away you can see those usually you'll see the chimney of the blacksmith shop first. That's really doing good. Because I don't have a lot of buildings. Usually that would disappear by now because it would be struggling to render all that stuff. Um, but you can you can mark it where your town is with your GPS or you can just remember. 
go south to 1114, bring up the map next to this lake or a watering hole or however you can remember it, slap your GPS on it. Anyways, that's getting started pretty easy. There you go. Off into the moonset. See ya. Look at the wolves are stacked. Well, there's pelts. Why isn't that loaded? Whoops, watch out doing that. Yeah, and then they run away after you shoot one. They're all scattered. They've made their behavior very unusual. You got uh, your animals spawning in the air now. They're, they're screwed up too. Uh, yeah, see, you get these pelts from uh, animals too. The only thing you can do with that is make that mountain hat on the tannery. You can sell that to the tailor. You can trade these pelts in for a nickel to and rawhide to the taxidermist guy that makes the trophies or he'll sell you rawhide and pelts for 10 cents each he'll buy them for 5 cents each so it's not worth harvesting those uh, rawhide is needed in a, making a lot of things including making leather to make other things uh, jackets for one but rawhide and leather is needed in a lot of things not worth selling to him for a nickel or collecting it and doing that as a, as a money making operation some animals will give you pelt and rawhide and or wool as in the mountain goat and of course the sheep is all wool I don't know if it gives you a skin now or but it's wool and that mountain goat that will kill you that white mountain goat with the tiny little pointed horns will kill you even on horseback in a couple hit stay away from that thing keep a weapon equipped watch it when you're off your horse Bigfoot too don't battle him on foot I keep a weapon I keep a shotgun gold bootleg or double barrel in my hands all the time especially when I get off the horse okay now I got a bunch of pelts and rawhide meat weapons clothing I know where town is go build a big place okay now it's see ya adios off into the sunset sunrise this little booger American badge bastard. There's more bandits, get them. Look at this, two bandit camps side by side. And they're floating in the air. Okay man, you know <laughs> I'm posting this, you know my game isn't looking too good. Jeez. Alright. There's more meat on the hoof. There's another horse to sell. It's a nice flat spot up here. In uh, 1013. River's not far away. What was that? Oh, it's the little fox. Um, o is uh, auto walk. If you hold down shift, they'll run. Uh, that doesn't... It works the same on foot, O to auto walk, but uh, holding down shift won't run in auto walk on, in, on uh, with the character on foot. Horse does though. Yeah, it'll build up here. See you later.